Hey guys, welcome to another edition of Talk to Babes. It's your girl Diane. I've missed you guys so so much. I hope you guys are doing great. I hope Nigeria stress isn't suffocating you guys. I hope wherever you are from all over the world, I hope you guys are doing fine. I missed you guys so so much. Anyways, so on today's episode, we're going to be talking on unemployment. 16 million. I mean 16 million people. That is the rate of unemployment based on the statistics of National Bureau in 2017 Nigeria. You can imagine. I imagine how going to school for like four or five years, you guys, some courses that are actually like six years, and then you have to go for like all those courses, and then after that period, you can't get a job because of what unemployment. And you know what? It keeps increasing as our economy plunges. I know it's heartbreaking and devastating. Anyway, so Hugsy Blogazine were here to tell you that you can actually minimize the rate of unemployment in Nigeria. Yeah, of course, we are good like that. We are here to help you. We are here to come up with ideas and to share it with you guys and see how it goes. Because, you know, some of us are already trying it and it's working for us. So let's see if you guys will try it and it will work for you. Well, first of all on the list would be cleaning. I know you would say, God forbid, how will I go and be cleaning house? How will I go and be doing this? How will I go and be sweeping somebody's house? Oh, more calm down. Cleaning is actually one of the good businesses we have, and people are not actually looking into it. it. They say, fake it till you make it. Thanks to Miss Chika, okay? Anyway, she say, fake it till you make it. Fake it till it becomes your truth. Do you understand? So, right now, is when you want to clean, you just don't say, okay, I'll go and be clean, I'll be sweeping, I'll be clean. No, it's not like that. First of all, you need to get family and friends to actually come together to help you with your business to grow you know first of all you draft your idea you write everything you think you want to do in that business cleaning is one of the business that if you go into with your heart in it and i feel you will succeed because if you look at the environment today especially in lagos we have so many people who are busy with work like the last thing they will think of is actually having time to actually clean their house clean their homes clean their offices clean a shop, clean wherever it is. So what you do is you create, you print cards. This is something that people don't actually believe actually works, but it does work. So you could just go with your name. For example, I want to use Hugsy Bloggazine, Hugsy Bloggazine Cleaning Services. And there I'm writing what we do. We clean, we sweep, we mop, we arrange, we do all of that. And then I'm writing my contact address. And then I'm walking on the road and then, you know, you see people, you meet people, you're all dressed up. You, I mean, you don't go... If you want to go out there, you are your brand. You sell yourself. You are your brand. So the way you present yourself is the way you want people to actually respect you. You understand? So when you're going out there, you know, you get all glammed up, looking all good. And then you present to them so that they will know that, okay, this business is not just for joke. It's like something that it's serious. You meet understand. him and be like, hey, good afternoon. And then you try to make a conversation. You'd be like, um, actually, I have a cleaning service, dry cleaning service. And I just wanted to have my card. We actually do this. You know, sell yourself. Sell yourself. Whatever it is you do, sell yourself. You are your brand. Like I'm saying, you can't go to say you are a dry cleaning service and your dress is actually rumpled. You can't say you are a dry cleaning service and you have a stain on your... You can't say you are. You know, make sure when you are going out, you are representing yourself. Have pictures of your past work. Have a um, picture of what you do. Your office, like, you know, just run a check, even if they are busy or something. But make sure you even collect their number so that you can call them and be like, hey, I'm just checking up on you. Just wanted to remind you that I have my dry cleaning service. Wherever your clothes is dirty, whatever, ever, you know. Men always want these things. And for me, as a lady, you will succeed, you know. From there, from there, if you get your own place, you get start up your own business, start up your own dry cleaning services. But if they ask you where is your company, even if you don't have company, even if you don't have where it's stated or situated, just say it's so 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 place. Lie, put your house address. Will they know? No, till they come and check. But if you collect the clue, you tell them you even do home delivery. You can start with it. You know, everything is packaging. I feel like life is hard. So regardless of what it is, if you always wait for opportunities to actually come to you, then you will never get to where you are. You actually have to start from small. Like, I feel like from small money comes big money, large money, and all of that. You start from little things, baby steps, like they say. So, I will not wait for all the billions to come. I will start with the Nera, the Kobos, and, you know, work my way up through the top. So, that's what I'm saying. You don't always want to always look at your education and then just hold on to it. Get, like, something doing. It could be hair, it could be makeup, it could be beads, it could be lip gloss, it could be your lash line. Whatever you have passion for, 
trust me i need to grow that is all i have to say concerning unemployment in nigeria so tell me what was that hustle you hustled and then step by step you're actually getting even if it's small like it could be maybe frying akara but you package your akara i'm telling you that thing works i could fry an akara just go get a package box and you know fresh akara and they just take it to supermarkets market myself sell myself and that's all it will work people will buy akara in supermarkets do you know the hustle it's all hustle anyways so like i said last week we Auntie, to congratulate to our five lucky winners last week so this week i'm still going to be giving five lucky winners what you need to do is visit our instagram page visit our youtube page subscribe like comment and tell me about your business tell me about something you love doing tell me what you want doing and i'll post it right here on hoxie bloggers in now if you are not following me yet on instagram hey if you are not following me i'm angry already but anyways i'll forgive you after you do that follow me on instagram my instagram handle is miss underscore diane follow hoxie bloggers in on instagram at hoxie bloggers in we are going to write it right yeah so thank you guys for tuning in see you guys next week Love you guys. Bye.